Review. The Helios 44-258 has lens and M42 mount call me crazy, but I prefer 50mm lenses to be good at everything. A modern 50mm lens should produce exceptional shots at all apertures. Today, this is the case. But it was not always the case. As an initial matter, I really do not understand the hoopla about Soviet lenses. So many internet reviews declaring X, Y, or Z Soviet lens the Kino, blank. I remain skeptical of these claims. In no way do any mass-produced Soviet 35mm lenses come close to being among the best overall optics of the 1950s, 1960s, 1970s, or 1980s. Constantly reminding people that our Helios 44-2, for example, is a Zeiss Biotar copy does not somehow improve its performance. The Biotar represented a pre-war attempt by Zeiss to create a fast, workable, high-performance modified double gauss design, as opposed to the Zeiss Sonners that became the gold standard in 50 mms and short telephotos from the 1930s until the mid-1950s. In 1953, with the help of some rare earth elements, Leica finally produced a decent double gauss concept in its version 1 and 50 halves Summicron. From that point onwards, the modified double gauss design for 50mm lenses has reigned supreme. In the West, we generally call the design, Planer, West German, and not Biotar, East German, Soviet Bloc. Originally a cinema camera lens developed by Zeiss in the late 1930s, Zeiss Jena, East Germany, continued to produce its 58mm F2 Biotar in various manual and semi-automatic versions for M42 mount contacts and Practica SLRs until about 1960. Check the links here for some nice write-ups on the original Zeiss Jena lens. Starting in 1958, the Soviets began produce the Helios 44, which was a Biotar derivative but made in Zenith then proprietary bayonet mount as well as in M39, not compatible with Leica, however. The Soviets did not do much to improve upon the original Zeiss design until they started multi-coating the optics years later. The mid-1960s Helios 44-2 shares the same design as the prior 44, but was made only in M42 mount for the new generation of Soviet Zenit SLR cameras, the E and the B. Our example appears to have produced in 1982 by the Valvai Optical Mechanical Factory. It appears that 44-2s were produced until the end of the 1980s. By the early 1970s, the Soviets were producing another version of the Helios called the 44M, a lens that has standard automatic aperture operation for the Zenit M series. The Soviets continued to make different versions of the 44M for decades. Reportedly, the last series, the 44M-7s, are the best performers. Operation the 44-2 is designed for stop-down mode. Thus, you have to open the lens to maximum aperture to focus effectively, and then stop the lens down to your actual desired aperture on your own by rotating a ring at the front of the lens. A separate click ring at the front of the lens allows you to select the maximum aperture, allowing you to move a separate ring to actually select the aperture within the chosen range. For instance, you can choose a minimum aperture of f5.6, which permits you ultimately to choose any aperture at f5.6 or wider, but not smaller. Most older M42 camera bodies operate this way. It really slows down the process. By contrast, the 44M series operate in normal aperture priority mode with the appropriate compatible M42 camera body.